Okay, first off, if you want to see this eye look, watch the previous video. If you want to see the brows, watch the video before that. So, this video is mainly skin based. So, I am going to be showing you a very beautiful, slippery, wet looking face thing. So, first off, I already primed my face. Jessica, be quiet! This woman will kill me and she's not even my girlfriend. So I've already primed my face using my Too Faced Hangover RX face primer. It's very hydrating, smells like coconuts, all good. What I'm gonna be using for my base, I'm gonna be mixing a couple of different things because I do have areas of my face that require more coverage, like I get very red in this general area, which you probably can't super see, but I get very red. So on the parts of my face that need more coverage, I'm going to be going in with my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. As I've said in previous videos, it's very creamy, very buttery, it blends super nicely and I use this on red spots, on dark spots, on blemishes. I use it right here because what was I doing? So I'm gonna blend that in a little bit. I'm not blending it in entirely because when I go in with my second foundation, I don't want to lose that coverage when I blend that foundation out. So I'm really just lightly going in, getting rid of like harsh marks, but I'm not blending it off of the spots that I put it. live with the loudest people in the world, probably. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in the shade Light 7. I put that directly on my skin so as to not waste product using the back of my hand. And I use a brush, which also saves product because sponges can soak things in. So. Let's just go. I don't use a ton of it because this is really just to give you a more even complexion, which is why I laid down the more high coverage the first. And then this goes over it and just evens it all out. And my nose is very finicky when it comes to foundation, so I have to use the smallest amount possible and really, really, really blend it out gently. Because foundation really likes to break apart on my nose. It's very annoying. Wow, look at that big ass forehead. And as I've said in previous videos, I sweat a lot. So I try not to put a lot of foundation or product on my forehead. And if I do, I use powders. So, all right, so yeah, contouring. I'm gonna use the same products that I always use. I'm so sorry if you wanna see new products, let me know. But I uh, 
just like using these because they work for me. So I'm gonna be using my Fenty Match Sticks in the shade Amber and in the shade Mocha. Amber for contouring, Mocha for bronzing. Contour first. Okay, tip for contour. Okay, you see how I put my contour here? But the natural shadow of my cheek does that shape. But I wanna bring my cheek in further. I want it to look like my cheeks are not as full. So I bring it in further instead of going down. When you go down or if, if you have this shape and you've been following it and you're like, why does that look so weird? One, it's because you should not be blending your contour onto your jaw because that defeats the purpose of the contour. And two, because... The entire world doesn't want me to film right now. I actually sound super insensitive because I really hope that nobody's like in trouble or hurt. So two, because if you're like me, you really want to give your face more dimension from a straightforward view. From the side, my face looks fine, but I want that straightforward view to look slim and slender and look more more carved out than it really is. And when you're blending, you want to blend up every time. You can blend down like right here. I wouldn't recommend blending this even further up, so I would blend more like out but up and out is like the motion that you really wanna use. So like down here, do not blend that down. Start lower than where it is and blend up from there. Boom, baby. And there you go. Okay, and you'll notice I carve out this side of my jaw, but not this side. Why? Because this side doesn't need it and this side does, because for some reason, that happens. Like I said, you guys, it's there even when I'm skinny, so just ignore it or don't. I don't care. And you gotta look at it from all angles because you do not want to blend only on some parts and then not blend the rest of it. Because if anybody sees that, they're just going to be like, Wow. Gross. Or they'll be nice like me and just walk up to you and be like, Excuse me, just can I just put you aside for a second, miss? Yes, can I please help you fix your contour? She's with Zach. And I am filming. Oh shit. Sorry. I need the glue gun and glue sticks. What crafts? What are you talking about? I have to do another centerpiece and I was gonna make some little giveaways for tomorrow morning's women's breakfast. It's for breakfast. tomorrow morning and you're not doing it till now. Do you guys see what I have to deal with? You're lucky I'm not putting you in this video because you're this indecent. Oh, I know you're gonna cut my, me out. My body, my beautiful body. Oh my God. Um, I don't wanna be busted for rated X, 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 X. Uh, well, it's damn it. You suck. Thank you. Wow. Bye. You're Bye. welcome. My family is so exhausting. So now I'm gonna go in with my other matchstick, which is Mocha.
I'm sorry that I'm not talking more. I don't have the rights to the music that's playing in the background because my brother is cleaning and I don't want this video to get blocked. So I am blocking out that noise as much as I possibly can by not speaking, therefore not needing to use the audio. So I'm very sorry about that, but that's the reality of living with other people. Okay, so there's contour basically done and now I'm gonna contour my nose. Since this is just a face video, I'm just gonna show you how I contour my nose because I feel like it's pretty simple, but a lot of people do it wrong. I do it wrong sometimes. Sometimes I walk out of the house and I'm like, wow, my nose looks bigger than it was before. What the? So I'm gonna get nice and close for you guys. What I do is, okay there. I naturally have the shape that I want and so I'm just like bringing it out even more. So I follow my guidelines, like my nose down here. I do this little, that little line there and these here. Uh, like that. Okay. And I go straight down. Just like that. Then I grab my trusty brush that I blend with, which is slightly smaller than my regular foundation brush. contour and nose and if you're wondering do I have to contour no you don't um if you naturally have a slimmer nose and you don't want to make it any skinnier then you should add back some color because when you're putting on a full face of foundation you're taking the color away so like I don't need to contour my bare face because I have contours in my face like that little shadow there those are there all the time but when you clear out your face and make it a blank canvas you need to add dimensions back which is the whole point of contouring you're not trying to i mean it's possible to make you look like a different person but that's not what you're trying to do most of the time you're just trying to bring back the shape of your face so for this part i start blending down but barely just a little bit the further down you blend the thicker your nose will look and then that's when I start to go in and I do little flicking motions, not dragging motion. So the flick, how it's different from the drag is that it's only, the brush is only touching the part of my nose where I want that line to blend, okay? I'm not pulling it super far into the top of my nose and I'm not pulling it super far out. I'm gonna show you like what the angle of the brush, like how I'm using the brush. Okay, so if my finger is my bridge of my nose and my contour is right here, the brush is touching it like this. It's not doing that. It's not doing this where it's like really harsh it's barely touching the top so that only that angle 
as the brush touching it just right there like that okay do you understand i'm sorry if i'm putting this in terms that like most actually no not most people know how to do this so i'm making these videos for people who don't know how to do anything okay like i had to teach my mom everything like all the basics which were basics for me but then i remembered most people don't get that big into makeup like that. And even when you're watching someone do it, it's very hard to just mimic what they're doing if you don't know like the specificity of the movements and pressure and all of those things. So I'm trying to be as, as simple as possible and make this as detailed as possible. So again, I am barely grazing only this harsh line to blend it inwards in the tiniest bit. Okay, and then I don't blend on top of right here. Cause I wanna give myself a little button nose, cute little button nose. So I stop, I actually give myself like, right when I get to right above there, I start going on my actual bridge of my nose to give myself that sort of effect, but not too much. Too much and you'll look like you have some weird sort of nose okay when you've done that if you think it's still too thick on the sides or if you blend it down too far it's okay you haven't set any of your makeup yet so you go in i use this one just because it's easier to access because i can just pick up the tiniest bit take a little bit of my foundation and i will just Make this little line here where I start to blend that contour closer to my nose. Do you see that? See how that looks a little thinner? And like the natural, like the shadows on my face are like falling weird right now, but so this usually isn't so dark in this little corner here, but I can fix that with makeup, so. Yeah. Then you take this. Yeah. Clean off your brush for when you're gonna blend the lines together. And then more of like a stippling motion to blend. Okay, and then up here, it took me a while to figure out my shape up here, but I do actually have to make this go out in sort of like a triangle shape or like a V. For it to not look weird. and then I'm gonna blend inward again just to make sure that it's where I want it to be. Is contoured, and there you go a nice contoured nose and face, sweetie. Now, I do have cream blushes, I'm not gonna use one because I don't feel like it, so you don't want to get up. But if you want to use a cream blush, super easy. Um, or if you don't have a cream blush, pick your favorite color lipstick well, not your favorite color, but like a good blush color for you and um, just dab your finger. Let it get warm on your finger, all right? Like you want your fingers to be like already kind of warm and then like swirl it a little bit on the stick and then just do like a quick few taps. And then with your clean finger, start 
to just pat, to blend. So you do little circles and make the circle bigger. And then you make the circle bigger. And you keep doing that where you want your blush and you should get the most beautiful diffused blush look ever. But because I don't wanna get my cream blush, I'm just gonna go in with my Jouer Blush Duo. This is their little rose gold duo um, in the shades Marigold and Rose Petal. I'm gonna use Marigold, which is that darker blush, and I'm actually just gonna add it like as extra contour, like right under. And yes, go into your hairline, please. Your blush should really diffuse out. I don't think I blend right there, blended right there good enough. So I'm gonna go back in and kinda, there we go, it's a little better. If you ever feel like you blended too much or, or if your contour is too dark in a certain part, just go ahead with your brush again with a little bit of your foundation and just tap it on. And there you go. Clean slate. Yeah, she's blushed, but she's not like crazy. She's sculpted for the gods. Just kidding, there's only one God in my own personal beliefs. You believe whatever you wanna believe. Just believe in something. Or well, believe in nothing, cause honestly, that's a mood. I love blush. Okay, I'm gonna go into Marigold again and I'm gonna put her just on these outer parts of my nose and then with rose petal on my actual nose. Yeah, so she's pink and peachy and beautiful. Now I'm gonna do my under eye concealer. And again, I haven't set anything. I haven't set any single part of my face and honestly, I don't need to yet. Jouer. Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer, Creaseless Soft Matte Hyaluronic Acid in the shade Chiffon. the same brush that I used to blend out my nose contour because it's smaller and because I already did my under eyes and I don't want to go crazy blending. Actually, I'm going to start with my bigger brush and then when I get closer to my under eyes, I'll start using the smaller brush. And because you did switch brushes, you might need to reapply a little bit. Like I still have that tiny little spot right there. So I'm gonna add a little dot, a little dot, and then very concentratingly blend. this concealer Jesus because it just washed away my sins not that insomnia is a sin okay yes 
Okay, now, powder. This is like the first time you're gonna be using powder. And the last, I use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. The shade is translucent. Don't get the uh, brightening one. It's just not good. I mean, in my opinion, you can get whatever you want. But I didn't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my blush because y'all know I like to use the same brushes for everything. Don't worry. And as I've said in previous videos, I do not bake. So I get like the smallest amount of, of uh, powder possible. And I place it on my under eye. And I like stamp it into place. And then up next to the bridge of my nose. And then I will go in with a little bit more, get right between my brows and on my forehead. And then down the bridge of my nose a bit. And then using any excess, I'll set the rest of my nose. And then I haven't gotten any more. Now I'm just using whatever the heck is left on my brush to set around my mouth, my nose. This down. I'm breaking out. I don't know what's happening, you guys. gentle on your nose especially if your nose is like mine where it already has a hard time holding on to product i feel so stylish even though i'm wearing a hoodie and pajamas are y'all ready are y'all ready for the piece de resistance oh, i guess i have lips after but This is still the piece de resistance. So I'm going in first with my Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight in the shade 01. This is a mini. I got this um, using points from Sephora. I'm not picking my nose, I'm sorry. I'm like itching right there. Anyways, yeah, I got points uh, because I am Sephora Rouge, which means that I have spent more than $1,000 in a year at Sephora. And this is my third year in a row as rich. <laughs> Sponsor me. There is no mirror in this. I don't know why I'm looking at it like there is. Okay, so on my nose, I'm gonna take my powder highlight. And I go like, okay, you see how there's naturally that little spot right there that wants to just light up? That little spot right there that just wants to be beautiful and glowy. Well, I'm gonna give it what it wants. Uh Oh, she's very pleased with me. Okay, and then this little spot. Yep, that's it. Sometimes I'll bring it all the way down onto my actual nostril and like blend it down there so that there's like a lot of dimension. But sometimes I don't. But I want this to be super glowy and stunning, so I'm going to. Okay, then. I hit right here. And I don't hit right there because it needs it. I hit right there because right here is naturally very light on me. I don't know why, it just catches the light. Even though technically on my face, it's a divot. You know, it goes deeper in, so it shouldn't be catching the light, but it does. So I have to put highlighter right here on my little bumpy bump so that it matches right there. And when I'm looking straight forward, it gives the illusion of having a completely straight bump free nose. Oh my cupid's bow. And by the way, this is my favorite highlighter. Like my favorite powder highlighter. Which like might be like, oh, but you have so many highlighters. How could that be your favorite? It's so plain. It's not glittery. It's not glistening. 
that's why it's my favorite. I don't like glittery highlighters. I don't like chunky highlighters. I like highlighters that look like your skin has just been graced by God. This has no glitter in it. It has no chunks. It lays on the skin like a translucent powder would, but it gives you the most glossy, stunning finish. And I put my highlighter like everywhere on my cheekbone. Like I pull it down onto my actual cheek. Like I don't care. I put it everywhere. Let's get this one going. Do you see how gorgeous that is? Just wow. Okay, this side now. Okay, and now I need lips and then just spray my face real quick. Okay, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath liquid lip and I'm gonna put my Fenty Gloss Balm over it. So I'm using the liquid lip in Divine Nude from Pat McGrath first. Don't pay attention to that. I don't know why there's a little bump there, but it's just gonna make it look like I did my lipstick crooked, so, but I didn't. <laughs> She's gorgeous. I'm gonna let that dry, but I'm gonna spritz my face in the meantime. I don't go crazy with the setting spray either. So when you see YouTubers doing all that, you ain't gotta do all that. So just do what you wanna do, boo. You, so, yo. I always forget how much I love this freaking color. This color is so beautiful. Oh yeah, there you go. You see the highlight now? is just gorgeous. I hope this isn't ruining the look, but I don't, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. It doesn't ruin it. That's beautiful. It's like the perfect gloss to go over this color. Oh yeah, I don't think I said it, but this is my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. Alrighty, and there you have the finished look, guys. Like I said, I did a tutorial on the soap brows and a separate tutorial for the eye makeup using the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction Palette. So I hope you liked this skin video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and put those down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. And that's it, we'll catch you in the next one.